Orleans is all about food. And I was down there recently and I just pigged out on shrimp remoulade. I mean, it was super, super hot, icy cold shrimp smothered in remoulade sauce, which is an aioli mayonnaise based concoction that came over from France. They usually put it over some kind of chopped green, garnish it with lemon slices and tomatoes, and just bring it out to you as a chilled appetizer. I don't think there's a finer dish to serve any time of year as a first course or as, you know, a big party platter at a buffet. What makes a remoulade a remoulade is the mustard and the horseradish. It's these flavors in here that separate out a good New Orleans style remoulade from the others. In fact, we use two different types of mustard. Got some celery, a couple cloves of garlic, three eggs, a little bit of Chesapeake Bay seasoning, some paprika, Colonel Paps, best Worcestershire sauce ever. Some whole seed mustard, some sharp yellow Cajun mustard. Any mustard in the yellow category will do, but if you have some from Louisiana, it's gonna have a little bit of sharpness and heat to it. It actually has a little more horseradish in it. Speaking of horseradish and chili sauce. Vinegar, scallions. This is a remoulade sauce. Commander's Palace has had a history of employing some of the greatest American chefs over the last 50 years. And my friend Jamie Shannon was the chef there 25 years ago um, and sadly passed away uh, at way too young an age. And um, he taught me how to make this remoulade because I loved his the most. So this is a, a riff on his and Every time I make it, I think of him. So, Jamie, this is for you. So let's poach our shrimp, and we're gonna have a lot of flavor. I've peeled, deveined, frozen my shells. So I'm gonna put a bottle of Summit Oktoberfest. Do you know why? Because I live in Minnesota, that's why. And some celery, some onion. So this is one lemon, sliced, and I'm just gonna squeeze it and then scatter the slices. I'm going to let this boil for about three or four minutes. I'm gonna let those flavors go out in the water so that when I poach my shrimp in there, the shrimp absorbs some of those flavors. They cook quickly, but I like to stick them in one by one and then give it a good stir. And the reason is you're adding so much cold product to the boiling water that it takes a while for the thermal momentum of the pot to come back again. Now I wanna be careful, I'm putting so much ice on this, it's gonna almost stop them from cooking immediately. So I wanna make sure that they are all cooked through before I do this. Iceberg lettuce is what you serve this on. But I love the bitter, fresh escarole. Always taste your remoulade. Such a tight recipe needs absolutely nothing else. And we're gonna let this also be the dressing for the salad. So you literally drench the shrimp in remoulade. The old days, parsley was fancy garnish. So let's garnish with a little bit of parsley. Beautiful, beautiful quality of shrimp, but it tastes like shrimp should taste. You can even pick up that celery and onion and the beer that it was cooked in, and then the exterior of it just sucked in that Cajun seasoning. So you have built three layers of flavor just in the shrimp alone, and then this wonderful remoulade sauce. Oh, this, my friends, let's 
classic Americana, it's culinary literacy at its finest, and it's a dish that is going to be a part of your repertoire and make you happy for a long, long time. Mm.